Hi, I'm Alex Aaron, a technician at Seek Alarm, and today we'll be reviewing the basic setup for the SK91 series 315 MHz transmitters and receiver. Welcome to our instructional video. We are glad you are here. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive notifications of new Seek Alarm user and installer videos. The products we will be covering in this video are the following. SK-910RBQ one channel receiver. SK-910RB2Q two channel receiver. SK-919T1-GBQ one button pendant transmitter. SK-919T2 GNQ two button pendant transmitter. The SK919TP1H-BQ one button handheld transmitter. SK919TP2H-NQ two button handheld transmitter. And the SK91ERSD extended range antenna. Note that all Enforcer 315 MHz transmitters and receivers are cross compatible. In this section we will cover general info on the receiver, learning transmitter codes into the receiver, clearing transmitter codes, setting the relay output mode. General information. The parts of the receiver are the terminal block, the indicator LED, the antenna wire, the mode switch, one for each channel used for programming, the function switch, one for each channel used for setting the relay output modes. Also under the housing cover, you'll find a label with technical information. Note, this unit is not weatherproof and if mounted outdoors, should be in a weatherproof plastic enclosure. First, we must program the receiver to learn the codes for your transmitter. To do this, you will use a mode switch. If you have a two-channel receiver, you'll note that there are two mode switches, one for each channel, and these must learn separately. Each channel can learn up to 15 button codes. Press the mode switch for the channel that you want to learn a code and hold it for about three seconds or until the LED begins to flash. Then press the desired transmitter button. The receiver LED will go out to indicate that the button code has been learned into the system. Press the mode switch for the channel that you want to learn a code and hold it for about three seconds or until the LED begins to flash. Then press the desired transmitter button. The receiver LED will go out to indicate that the button code has been learned into the system. If you need to clear a channel's transmitter codes, you will also use a mode switch for that channel. Note that this will clear all codes already learned by the, this channel. Press the mode switch for the channel that you want to clear and hold it for about three seconds till the LED begins to flash. Release it and then press and hold it again for about three seconds until the LED goes out, indicating successful clearing of all this channel's codes. Next we will learn to set the relay output mode. To do this, we will use a function switch for that channel. Press the function switch for the channel that you want to set the relay output mode for. Hold the switch till the LED begins to flash and then release it. Press and release the function switch to cycle through the five modes in order. The LED will flash to show you which output mode is currently selected. The five modes and the number of LED flashes that indicate that mode are Four second timed output indicated by one flash of the LED. This is the default mode and it triggers the relay for four seconds. The next is toggle output indicated by two flashes. In this mode, the relay toggles on when pressed the first time and toggles off on the second press. Next is the latch output indicated by three flashes. 
In this mode, the relay latches on and remains on until the mode switch is pressed or power is reset. The next mode is the validity output, also called follow, indicated by four flashes. When this is set, the relay stays triggered for as long as the transmitter button is pressed. Finally, there is the one second timed output, indicated by five flashes. In this mode, the relay triggers for one second. Pressing the switch again will return you to the first output mode and start the cycle over. This has been the basic setup for the Enforcer SK91 Series 315 MHz transmitters and receivers from Seek Alarm. We thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.